case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2007, the Supreme Court heard the case of Gonzalez v. Duenas Alvarez, which centered around the issue of whether aiding and abetting a theft is considered a theft offense under the Immigration and Nationality Act. The case stemmed from a person who aided and abetted in a theft and faced deportation as a result of their actions. The lower court, the Ninth Circuit, had ruled that the provision regarding theft offenses was broader than generic theft and covered aiding and abetting a theft. However, the Supreme Court used the categorical approach to determine if the conviction fell under the scope of a listed offense. In doing so, they looked at previous cases and criminal statutes involving accomplice liability and criminal responsibility. The evidence and arguments weighed heavily on the defendant's conviction for aiding and abetting the theft of a vehicle and California's definition of aiding and abetting. Justice Breyer wrote the majority opinion for the Supreme Court, ultimately ruling that aiding and abetting a theft offense did qualify as a theft offense under the Immigration and Nationality Act, which resulted in the defendant's deportation. The court explained that the defendant had to share the criminal purpose in order to be convicted, and they relied on the principle that a state statute must have a realistic probability of applying to conduct outside a federal statute's generic definition for creating a crime. The Supreme Court vacated the Ninth Circuit's judgment and remanded the case for further proceedings, declining to consider claims about accessories after the fact and joyriding. The decision upheld the defendant's conviction for aiding a theft offense and emphasized the importance of the categorical approach in determining the scope of listed offenses under the law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.